This is the Barbie Looks Ken. He's the model 18. And this is the uh, Series 3. I really like to add these to my GI, my adventure team because I like different head sculpts and stuff. Here's the information if you want to look that up. These are This is the third wave of the Barbie Looks brand and the UPC code if you need to look at that. I like the different head sculpts that are available on these and he looks a lot different than the original Ken. Some flocking in his hair and some rooted hair which gives him a unique look. He's on the muscle Ken body and actually has grippy hands instead of the little mitten hands that the original Ken had. His outfit is a, a simple t-shirt and a pair of shorts and that t-shirt velcros him back. The uh, shoes are a pair of sneakers, one solid color, an interesting uh, sculpt to them. The clothes are not bad. I'm, I'm not a real fan of the colors. And the sh shoes are okay. I just kind of wish they had some uh, sort of traction on the on the uh, sole. The body construction is pretty in interesting. So he has full articulation, upper torso, and then he has double jointed knees and elbows. Um, he doesn't have a waist joint, but uh, the upper torso joint um, isn't too bad. So he has a full range of motion in his um, upper legs and some sw uh, swivel up there. His feet uh, move up and down and of course uh, go side by side to side. He also came with his, of course, the Barbie Looks uh, certificate and a uh, figure stand. He fits G.I. Joe clothes quite well and this is also a G.I. Joe uh, t-shirt and I gave him a belt with a pistol and a uh, in the canteen, I think. His elbows, although are double jointed, has a kind of a short range of motion compared to our super articulated GI Joes. But that's okay. At least he has some range of motion in his elbows. His hands can grip things, and they're a soft plastic, so they they could easily be easily hold items. So he holds this personal communicator quite well and since he didn't have a fi tracker finger I did what we always do to our figures and separate the two with a, a razor blade and now he could hold a weapon quite well. We have done this with our, our um, classic collection GI Joes for a long time and if you need me to do a tutorial on how to do that uh, I can do that for you. He has double joint in his knees and of course he has the limited articulation but he could still kneel a little bit but not as good as our super articulated GI Joes. It doesn't matter to me much as long as I, I could get some range of motion out of him. Pretty cool head sculpt he has some flocking um, on his hair rooted hair and a five o'clock shadow stubble. I really like this uh, head sculpt um, kind of looks like a younger member of my adventure team. It's kind of the look I'm wanting to go for. She has the same type of flocking. They almost have the same type of hairstyle, which is kind of interesting. I think at some point I'm going to have to add more product to his hair to keep his hair from going everywhere. Because after moving him around and filming him, his hair has kind of gotten a little messy. But it's an easy fix. My plan for him is to use him as uh, Cora's um, right-hand man for her uh, assistance. Here is his Adventure Team file bio. Anders Andy Van Dien is a 30-year-old intelligence analyst hailing from Charleston, West Virginia. With extensive knowledge and training in intelligence and counterintelligence, he is the go-to person for gathering and analyzing sensitive and crucial information. Andy is not just a man with sharp mental faculties, but also possesses impressive physical abilities. He is a skilled unarmed and armed combatant. 
a bodybuilder who takes his fitness seriously. Spending his free time reading and lifting weights no doubt contributes to his physique and impressive stamina. Despite his tough exterior and occupation, Andy is an affable and mature individual who has good manners and a brave heart. His educational background includes a high school diploma, army intelligence training, and associate degrees in political science, international relations, and military science. He has always been a keen learner and continues to expand his skill set a trait that has made him a top-notch intelligence analyst. In conclusion, Andy is a multi-talented individual whose various skills and personality traits make him an excellent intelligence analyst. His determination, bravery, and fighting skills are not only useful in his profession, but also integral to his personal life, where he enjoys spending his time staying fit and reading literature. I like these um, Barbie looks for their uh, different head sculpts and uh, different looks. And no, he's not a G.I. Joe, but that's okay for me. I look for more uh, characters that are going to fill a role than uh, actual G.I. Joe action figures. Any character is going to do it for me. It doesn't have to be a G.I. Joe. It doesn't have to be a G.I. Jane. Just something that's going to fill that character role for me. Anyways, let me know what you think. Would you be interested in collecting these kind of figures? Not interested? And that's okay if you're not. Click that like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to click Inspire and Create. See you in the next video.